Good afternoon and welcome to Blind Builds with Blind Prime. Today we're going to be building more Braille. Yeah, we're going to continue the building Braille series. Today we're going to cover the letter L. Yes, the letter L. It is a um, pretty simple Braille chip to make. All you have to do is put a uh, stud or a dot on the one, the two, and the three. And then you leave the four, the five, and the six blank. Ooh, nice and smooth on the other side. So all of one side gets it and all the other side doesn't. It's like a little yin-yang symbol, except, uh, you know, no little dot on the other, either side. Anyway, we're going to teach you how to build the L today. So if you like what you see here, please like, subscribe, share, and comment below. And, uh, you know, if you know anybody in your life who may be visually impaired but not have a lot of money, it, show them these uh, YouTube videos. Maybe it can help them learn Braille better. You know, and this is also for all of you individuals out there who have just recently lost your vision or are losing your vision. You can use my Building Braille series to build your own Braille and help teach yourself Braille at home. Yeah, Braille isn't really that easy to learn. And it makes it more difficult that it isn't that easy to find a teacher for. So I'm teaching you how to teach yourself. And that's just going to be the way we'll have to do it. So let's get into the letter L. First off, what you're going to need is the pieces, like always. Let's see. You're going to need, of course, a 3 by 2 plate. And you can do it a couple of different ways. You can use a 1 by 3 tile and a 1 by 3 plate. I can find my 1x3 plate. There it is. You can use a 1x3 tile and a 1x3 plate and make this build into a three-piece build. So you just put your 1x3 plate on the 1, 2, 3 spot on the left-hand side of your Braille chip, and then you put your 1x3 tile on the 4, 5, 6 spot on the right-hand side of your Braille chip. There you go. Boom. The letter L is complete. Isn't that easy? Isn't that fun? Let's, let's make sure I didn't get that upside down real quick. Uh, let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. And where's the L? There we go. Oh, come here. Come here, L. Okay, there's the K. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. K. And then the L is on the left-hand side. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm doing the L right. I've got my handy-dandy Braille alphabet over there. So let's go ahead and do it in a different way. If you don't have one by three pieces, don't worry. I've got the pieces for you. So start off with your 3 by 2 plate. Set it down on the tabletop in front of you. I like snapping it down. Um, and what you want to do is, let's go ahead and move the 1 by 1s off to the side, because they can be a pain to uh, construct. So let's grab the 1 by 2s. Hey, hey, little 1 by 1 stud. Don't you roll away from me. All right. So let's go ahead and use the 1 by 2s. So we'll use a 1 by 2 uh, studded plate. And so we are going to put that on the four and the five positions. No, 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 I'm sorry. My bad. The two and the three positions on the left-hand side. So middle and bottom of the left-hand side. And then we're going to put the tile, the one by two tile, on the four and the five positions. So the top and the middle of the right-hand side. And we're going to make a simple kind of like this where there's an empty on either side. And that's... That's going to make things easier because we're dealing with two one by one studs and they have a tendency to like to uh, rotate a little bit and make things more difficult. So let's go ahead and put it back on the table in front of us and we're going to go ahead and put the one by one stud in the number one position. There we go. And finally, we're going to take our one by one tile and we're going to put it in the six position to make a letter L. Now, L's, of course, are known for land, liberty, lawsuits. Luxury, Lederhosen, and of course, Llamas. Because you can't forget the one that starts with two L's. Like the Llama's so L worthy, it had double L. Double L, yes, double L. All right, thank you so much for watching today's video and you know, continuing with the ongoing Building Braille with Blind Prime series. Please tune into my channel for more blind related topics, and of course, everything I do is made to raise awareness for the blind through alternative means and methods. You know, I'm trying to raise awareness in a different way, in a different manner than what is normally uh, associated with raising awareness. You know, so playing with action figures, playing with transformers, playing with Legos, doing all those things to you know, showcase different aspects of blindness, you know, something more than what the, bu the bureaucracy will tell you about blindness. So. Thank you again for watching, and uh, please, you know, there's a few people I'd like you to check out. If you don't mind checking out the Drunken Prime and the 14th Prime, you know, they're 
they're two channels that really help this channel out. And of course, you know, Perspective Dean and um, what's the other one? Uh, oh, no. I had another channel lined up to share with you. And it's not... I, the name's not coming to my head. My bad. Anyway, um, yeah, check those guys out. They're really cool. Um, maybe it was Soundwave Spectre was the other one. But those are really good channels to check out. They, they've helped me out a lot. They're really good guys. And uh, yeah, maybe you'll find something interesting there as well. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Oh, Articulated Ninja. That was it. Yeah, yeah. He does the, the 112 scale stuff. So... Everybody else does, that I mentioned does uh, Transformers, except for Drunken Prime, who does uh, G.I. Joe and Transformers, like this channel. <laughs> We're very similar in what we cover. Till next time. Bye-bye for now.